5.30 a.m. and I've set up my hide again along the western embankment at a different spot to the one the other day with the flamingos and today I'm hoping that we'll get um, wildfowl as well as flamingos and more importantly I guess uh, or equally importantly I should say um, a really fabulous sunrise much like the one that we had from the monastery view uh, the other day so on the bad point as soon as I got here it started drizzling but I'm hoping that's just a, a cloud that's going past and um, from looking at the horizon it's looking pretty much like it did the other day so you've got smog sitting along the bottom of the horizon with clearing skies above it and the odd cloud just drifting across uh, really quite brightly so I'm hoping that we're going to get a really decent sunrise and some wildfowl, flamingos and whatever else the morning might bring so this spot is a little bit close to the, to the water than the one the other day so that's good and it's also in a better spot for the wildfowl, the ducks and the dabblers and the waders that like to feed along the the, um, the shoreline here so I'm hopeful that we're going to get some decent shots this morning and some decent video as well so I'll catch up with you in a little while once the light starts to come up which is still about two hours away so a little bit of patience now not a bad sign that's from the massive cloud that you just saw above the horizon but the horizon itself is just glowing red and it's reflecting beautifully in the um, in the lake which is like glass at this minute so I'm trying not to show too much light to give any birds that might be passing any room for to be scared of coming down and landing in front of me here so apologies for the bad light so we'll just have to wait it out and see what comes along and like it should be interesting though anyway. overhead and it's uh, raining over to the left you can see the yeah, there's still a big cloud above me but the rain didn't come it got a couple of drops and it just passed over oh and I've got ducks coming across right now have a look So 3200 at f4, and it's giving me 40th of a second. So I don't know what's going to come out. If it'll be at all sharp, but we shall see. Okay, it's a little bit moving, but it's not bad. It's actually quite nice in the January, even with the moving, purely because of the colour. It's so stunning. I'm hoping as the sun rises between the mountain, in that gap between the mountain and the, the cloud, that it should light up the bottom of the cloud as well and should give a stunning, stunning picture. Can you wait? 
and hopefully it'll all work. We shall see. So, so good. Okay, so the sun is fully up now. <clears throat> the rain's still coming down quite heavily. And I've pulled the camera in just to protect it because I'm not taking any pictures just at the minute. There's nothing out there for me to photograph. I'm trying to hang on as long as I can, just in case some birds do come, because I can see some just over to my left. It all depends on whether this hide can hold out any longer as well because it's starting to drip through. But if they should come, photography in this sort of weather with the raindrops, if I can get a decent shot of a, a duck with the rain, it could look really amazing. So I'm going to try and hang on for as long as I can. And. Uh, but I think I'll sign off right now. And if I'm successful, you'll see the photos in a minute. Otherwise, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you if you follow me and subscribe to this channel. And I hope to be able to bring you more uh, wildlife photography from Greece in the very near future. Thanks again. Bye for now.